Hey, this is a little update for anybody who might be interesting. My spring semester is starting next week on Tuesday, January, I don't know what. All of my lectures I'm going to be posting on YouTube. So if anybody's interested in uh, the courses that I teach, uh, why don't you sit on in? I got two classes for you. The first one is called Mathematics and Exploration. This is meant for people who are not math majors, uh, like extremely not math majors. It's, it's typically taken by, you know, humanities majors or something. Everybody at the university has got to take a math course. So this would be absolutely appropriate for anybody who uh, hasn't done math in a long time, but is kind of vaguely interested in math. Um, high school students, even earlier than high school students, could probably follow along just fine if you're, uh, if you're you know, capable of focusing. Um, the course is not likely to be anything that you have learned in, uh, in high school mathematics. So what we're going to do is two major topics are uh, the mathematics of voting and, uh, and related topics and the mathematics of graph theory. So voting is is um, is about half of the course, and voting is one of those things that seems really simple when you um, when you don't think about it too carefully. But if you do think about it too carefully, you realize that it's totally complicated. Very interesting mathematically. Um, I made a video about that that you can check out if you want to. Uh, so we're going to talk about. Um, elections, voting systems, and also we're going to uh, spend quite a bit of time talking about gerrymandering, which is a, uh, a huge issue in American politics these days and in, in a lot of other places as well. That's about sort of weird ways of drawing election districts in order to monkey with the outcome. So if you're interested in those things, you might be interested in, uh, in checking out the class. The other major topic for that class is graph theory. This is another super important thing in the real world, although it's not something that is typically covered at all in a, in a you know, typical high school uh, math curriculum. Graph theory is different from the graph of a function. Graph theory is about networks of things which are connected in certain ways. There's going to be a lot of pictures like this and this. These, are, these come up all the time in the real world, and it's uh, super interesting stuff that we're going to talk about. So that was the first course, Mathematics and Exploration. The second course is called the theory of computation. This is an upper level course that is typically taken by math majors and also computer science majors. And it's about the theory of computation. Um, that is to say, it's about computers, but it's not a programming class and it's not about any, any specific computer, but it's about, in general, the capabilities and limitations of computing instruments like any kind of computer that you could imagine. They have certain things that they can do. Um, is there anything they cannot do? Uh, actually, yes, there are things that they cannot do. If you've ever heard of something called a Turing machine or other kinds of um, automata, that's what this class is about. Uh, this class is sometimes called automata theory. Um, at other, you know, at, at other institutions, we call it the theory of computation. Anyway, that's what uh, that's what the other class is about. Like I said, it's usually taken by upper level math majors. But actually, we're not going to use a whole lot of fancy mathematics in there. Uh, you certainly don't need to know calculus. Some familiarity with uh, basic set theory would be would be good. But um, otherwise, it's uh, it should be pretty accessible uh, to anyone who is, you know, if you're interested in the topic, I'm sure that you can find a way to follow through. All right, those are the two classes. Like I said, I'm going to be posting them on this this very channel. Although when I when I do these uploads, uh, you know, it's like uh, three uploads a week, so uh, I'm not going to um, put them in the usual subscriber feed. So you may not see them, but uh, check in the links down there. I'm going to link to the class website for each of them, um, and also I'll link to a playlist, which you will see new entries appearing in the playlist. Uh, class meets Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, so you should get three, uh, you know, three new ones uh, per week. I hope you check them out if you're interested. If not, that's cool. A lot of my students probably won't.